Hey guys, I am 29 weeks, three days today, and my biggest symptom this week is that I am so exhausted. I have been taking naps like every other day and sleeping like for hours at night, and I'm still just so tired all the time, and it's because I am weighed down. I just can't move quickly. I can't get up quickly. I just... I get so out of breath from, like, five minutes of, like, anything besides sitting. It really sucks. And it's weird because my feet don't hurt. Like, my legs hurt and stuff, but my feet don't hurt. And so I, I can walk, like, normal speed, but I just get so winded immediately. And trying to take care of a running toddler... Oh, I'm just so tired all the time. Um... Other big news is that I have to pee every night now. I can't get away with not peeing anymore, which really sucks. I was really enjoying that the whole second trimester. I did not have to get up and pee, really, at all. And it's just so uncomfortable to have all the weight of emerald pressing on me, plus my bladder being full. It just, I can't do it, so I have to pee. Like, once or twice during the night. Emerald's hiccups are getting bigger, like last week I said they were like barely noticeable, but now they're definitely getting a lot bigger, so apparently it just had to do with how big Molly was and now how big she is, so I can feel them bigger. I can feel them more. I feel like she has grown like a crap ton this week. I don't know, she probably has. My craving this week, last week it was like salted tomato slices, this week it's all about cream cheese. I love cream cheese. I've been eating lots of bread, toast, whatever, with cream cheese on it. I also was craving jelly donuts, so I bought a bunch and then I ate them all at once. So I don't have any more. Hmm. Also I got cookie butter for my birthday and cream cheese and cookie butter sandwiches are one of Molly's absolute favorite things right now. So, she likes the cream cheese too. Um, I have been like ridiculously hot, like sweaty and just miserable. Not today, cause it's really cold, but it'll heat up again, but. For the most part, I'm just so hot. And I don't know what happened, but like, starting a week ago, starting when I was like 28 weeks, People have suddenly, like, everyone is like, what do you do? It's like they think I'm full term or something. Not that I'm, like, measuring where I was full term with Molly, but I am. But seriously, like, everyone, like, every time I go in the elevator, every time I walk and someone's there, everyone's like, what do you do? And I'm like, not soon enough. Not till the end of June. And they're like, oh, is it a boy or a girl? I'm like, it's a girl. Is it your first? No, it's my second. That's why I'm so big. Blah, 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 blah. I don't mind answering that question. The question that, like, really irritated me when I was nearing the end of my pregnancy with Molly was, oh, how are you feeling? Oh, how are you? What does the doctor say? I'm like, what do you mean what does the doctor say? I don't know what the doctor says. Like, how am I supposed to answer that? Like, cause I answer things literally, I guess, maybe I have a touch of Asperger's, I don't know, but I answer things like that, like, literally. And I'm like, uh, she says, see me next week? Like, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. But anyway, so yes, everyone is asking me when I'm due, and I'm like, not for another, like, three months. And they're like, are you serious? I'm like, yes. That's pretty much it for me, symptom and everything wise. Nothing's really going on. My midwife appointments are every two weeks now. I've hit that milestone, so that's cool. So this week I don't have an appointment, but I do next week. And that'll help make this fly by even faster. Once my appointments were every two weeks, like, then every 14 days something happens, and so it's like, yeah. So from 30 weeks on up to 36 weeks, I will have an appointment every two weeks. And I, like, never ever mention this, but at my anatomy, was it my anatomy? Yeah, at my anatomy ultrasound, this is like 10 weeks ago, um, they actually gave me an AFP test and it was totally fine. And also, I, I like mentioned this with a caption last week, but my glucose test came back like right after I made the video and I'm fine so I can continue to stuff my face with donuts and not really worry about how big Emerald's getting, haha. <laughs> 
They also said they were waiting on, like, a thyroid test, but no one's called me about it yet, so I assume it's fine. If it's not, then it's not a big deal to go to endocrinology because it's actually literally down the hall from maternal field medicine. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, here's my belly shot. Okay, there's from the side and the front and the side. <laughs> And Molly's saying hello. Oh, look, my stretch marks are getting a little bit dark. In the front. And the other side. And this week, my weight actually didn't change. It is still 188.2, so I'm happy about that because I'm getting really close to 190. And my belly grew half an inch. It is 45 and a half inches around... Can you believe that? That's like three and a half feet around. <laughs> yeah, I'm less than an inch away from where I was in labor with Molly, which was like five days overdue. So, oh, I'm going to get so much bigger. People are going to be like, oh, you're ready to pop. And I'll be like, no, I'm not out of a preemie. It would be in the hospital for like three months if that happened. So anyway, I'm going to go because there are other things to talk about. So I will see you guys next week for week 30 and then I'll have 10 weeks oh, to go. I Yay. Bye. Bye.